Hey guys, hope you all had a great weekend. Today I had a snow day, so I got to relax most of the day. But now it's time to get down to business. Today we're going to be talking about how God's love is inside of us. We've kind of talked about this a little bit, but now we're going to be talking about it a little bit more in depth. In Romans 5.5, 5, in the New Living Translation, the Bible says, And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because He has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with His love. Paul, he writes to the church at Corinth and says that don't you know that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit, not the temple of the living, or that the Spirit of the living God lives in you, and things like that. He says that over and over again. In you is where the Holy Spirit lives, the Spirit of love. First John four eight says that God is love. He's he doesn't just show love; he is love. And so you have the Spirit of love that you know. Every act of love, the love that held Jesus to the cross, the love that uh, rose him from the dead, the love that empowered him to release healing and miracles in his uh, earth walk, you know, every aspect of love, that spirit of love is what lives in you. And so, you know, when somebody, the Bible says the just live by faith, not by feelings. And uh, this is something I've been learning about a lot recently and I've had to act on more more recently is uh loving people even though you know things happen you know things aren't always going to go our way you know things change people say stuff but all in all you know the bible says that love doesn't keep record of wrong done to it and so you know what you just got to do you just have to forget it you've got to love that person the bible says to just live by faith like I said a second ago not by feelings. And so our feelings in situations when we get uh, done wrong, it's like, okay, you know, you start getting mad, you start saying a bunch of stuff you're going to regret. And when really you just got to, you know, come to God with it and just go off on your own somewhere, just get alone and just let it out to, let it out to daddy. The Bible says, cast all, all, all your cares on him for he cares for you. And so come to him with everything. You know, he wants you to come to him with, you know, whether it's relationships, something at work, uh, big things, little things. It's, you know, he he sees it as, okay, well, let me help you with this. Give it to me. Let me deal with it. Put the ball in my court. And then just trust me and watch what I can do. And so when we do that, it's like, okay, he's going to take care of it. And so we live by faith. We, the love that is in us, we release to that other person and we show them forgiveness. We show them love and compassion. It's like, and it'll just blow their mind. It's like mind-blowing love. That's what God's love is, is mind-blowing love. And so when we take that love that's on the inside of us and we're like, okay, it's like, you know, and of course you're going to get mad. You're going to get frustrated, but you've just got to let that all go. And you just say, okay, it's like, it's fine. I love you. You know, it's all good. And then just as you do that, the power of God, then the love of God just starts to flow out of you. And it just changes and shifts the atmosphere to that stress field. Uh, you know, even for your own benefit, it helps you. Because you're like, okay. And then you become more aware of God. And then allows for miracles and for restoration and forgiveness to take place in the atmosphere and in lives. And so that's why it's important to, regardless of what somebody's done to you, to love them. It's like, well, I don't like them because... You know, there are some people's attitudes that it's hard for me to deal with. It's just like... I mean, it's not that uh, it's anything they've done. And, you know, it's, there are people that I have gotten to know that I've thought... You know, it's not like I'm... Okay, it's it's easy to pick off. It's that prideful kind of attitude. It's just like, what's going on? And it just irks me. But, you know, that attitude, the Bible says that uh, God... Uh, resist the proud but gives grace to the humble <laughs> but uh you know there's, there's still no reason to get irritated about it you know just subdue those feelings with love by faith that's just what it that's what we've got to do is we've got to let that love flow out of us and just shift the atmosphere because god is love and so when we release release that unconditional love into the atmosphere we release his power and his true nature showing people that regardless of what they've done God is still available to them, and Jesus has provided the ultimate sacrifice and will do anything he can 
and he can do everything. He will do everything possible and even in man's eyes impossible. He will do everything to change your situation, to turn it around because he loves you. That, that's just what it boils down to. And so when we realize how much he loves us, then we can release that to other people because we have received and we've oh, we've received that gift. But then once we realize that we open that gift and once we open it, we can wrap it back up and give it to somebody else. And that's just good news. So I love you guys. Go out and love somebody else. See you tomorrow.